Good morning and welcome to the Trader Planet Pre-Market Open Trade Review. Today is Tuesday, April 20th. We're so glad you could join us today. This is Darla Tuttle and I'm your host for today's session with Greg Furman, a market analyst for TraderPlanet.com. Today's webcast takes place at a specific date and time and therefore any opinions given by our presenter may change without notice at any time. Please be aware that trading involves substantial risk of loss and therefore may not be suitable for all investors and past performance is not indicative of future results. This live webcast is being recorded and will be posted on Trader Planet so you will be able to review the material at a later time. You will also find additional previously recorded webinars among our other free educational resources at our site at www.traderplanet.com. As one of our more revered Forex educators, Greg Furman is a professional trader and commodity trade advisor that has worked in the stock, futures, commodity, and currency markets for the last 10 years. Greg is Series 3 Commodities Futures License and registered with the NFA and has clients that include individual traders and fund managers from around the world. We're delighted to have him with us today. Let's give a warm welcome to Greg Furman. Thank you, Darla, for that warm welcome, and I want to thank everybody for coming this morning. We're going to, this morning, go through and look at, again, our major markets in the Forex market and things that will affect trading in today's market. Now, again, with what we're going to start with here, we're going to look at the Vantage Point software, and we're going to review the U.S. dollar index. Now, very important when trading Forex that we review, take some time and have a very close look at this dollar index because it, it is a driving factor in the Forex markets. Now, looking at the Vantage Point software here, we can see that we've had some volatility over the last uh, 30 to 60 days, but there is a primary move to the upside. Now, we've crossed over the triple EMA cross crossover has taken place last week. It's important to point that out, but again, we can see that the market's turning and trying to cross back up and over that area again. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to go in and have a look at these. Using the Vantage Point software, I'm going to use the short, the medium, and the long-term crossover. Now, again, I think it's very important to point out how completely uncluttered my chart is. Uh, right now, I'm doing one thing at a time, and then I will start with the base of the triple EMA crossover, and I will then add indicators to that. But I will not make a, a mess of my computer screen by adding 30 indicators on here. I, I want to get a very clear picture to start. So right now, we're looking at the short-term crossover from vantage point is crossed over to the upside. This tells me that, that in the short term, the US dollar index is going to move higher. In the medium term, however, we can see here that this crossover has not taken place. So again, going through this, this practice of checking each one of these crossovers before I get into adding other indicators, it gives me a very clear picture. So, so far we can identify the short term, the dollar is still strong. In the medium term, it's questionable. Now, in the long-term crossover, again, this is showing a different picture also. It's showing that the dollar may not be able to recoup some of this. So, you know, we want to take all of this into consideration when we're, when we're trading. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back and apply this again. So we know that short-term it's going to move higher, but in the long, medium and long-term we're really not sure. So let's, let's now go ahead and apply the predicted MACD here and see if this gives us a signal. Using the predicted MACD, we can see that we've crossed over the trigger. Now, the cro crossing over this trigger indicates that it's going to continue to move lower. However, this zero line with the, with the predicted MACD is very important that either we get up, stay above it or get below it. If we get below it, then chances are we're going to move considerably lower. Now, if we can hold above this zero line and the trigger starts to move its way back up and crosses, then the U.S. dollar should recoup. So that's using the predicted MACD. Now let's, let's look for overbought and oversold signals. So let's, let's add a predicted RSI. Predicted RSI is actually sitting at trend-ready levels. Nothing is, you know, this is not giving us a clear signal other than probably a trending move is closer. Now running through that and looking at the predicted TSI from Vantage Point. Now this indicator from Vantage Point is a, it's an indi interesting indicator because Vantage Point is the only place you can get it. Uh, that's one of the reasons I'm using the program for indicators such as this, not only for this indicator, but for its predictive nature. So with this, we can see that the predicted TSI has not crossed this trigger right here, and that's certainly a concern to me that uh, potentially the US dollar is getting ready for a, a bigger move to the downside, regrettably. Now, that's left to be seen, but again, 
all we really have to say that the U.S. dollar is going to gain strength is that short-term indicator, and I, and I don't believe that that's, at this point in time, is going to be enough to push things higher. So with that said, we can go in, we reviewed this U U.S. dollar index. Let's, let's have a look at the live market before we go into our next uh, uh, analysis here. What we can see is this is the live foreign exchange market on the uh, again, on the FXCM UK platform where I can trade on here, I can trade commodities, I can trade equities, and of course foreign exchange. Now, just a quick recap of last week's uh, live webinar. We were looking, uh, I've made, uh, you know, I've been actually using the vantage point for several months now. I've been suggesting we should just be buying the S&P 500. Uh, I know that a lot of people felt the 1152 area would hold and we would move uh, substantially lower. Uh, I suggested otherwise. I then said that the 1200 mark would give way. That's actually taken place. One of our recommended trades here from last week, and the one that we had a pending order in in uh, the April 13th live webinar, was the S&P 500. We can see here that I entered at that position at 1180, 1187.60. The market currently trading at 1203.20 for 156 basis points, or $1,560 profit. Now the rollover is the cost of carry because you can see that this trade was entered on 4-16-2010. So essentially I left a pending order in there based around the vantage point software and waited for it to be automatically entered. Now going back and actually having a quick look at that, we'll, we'll review the S&P 500 next because of the high correlation it has to the, to the foreign exchange market. Now I'm using the S&P 500 as one gauge of a broader group of indices. The, S&P 500, the Dow, the NASDAQ, I believe, based on what I've learned over the years on intermarket technical analysis, that essentially the, the, there is a high correlation to all of these uh, indexes. So looking at this, we can see here with the S&P 500, uh, our daily range for today is 1183.98 and 1202.38. Uh, now this was a recommended trade also for today. Now looking at this, we can see that the 18-day the predicted moving average is used as a pivot, an area of pit, what I would call pivot support in this particular case. We have the triple EMA crossover that's taken place right here on, Feb, on or about February the 18th. Now that's, if we back this thing out a little bit and have a look at this over a six-month period, we can see that the actual crossover took place back in uh, essentially the end of December. So anybody buying this thing at the 11, at the 1090 area, or even lower, when this initial move, which is this three-day crossing over the eight-day and the 18-day, this was a leading indicator. Now, looking at that, so, sorry, I'm just going to put that back here for a second. I want to review one more thing. It, looking at this crossover here, this is a steady move higher, and you can see that the three-day during this time did not cross over the 8-day, did not cross over the 18-day. There was no sell signal whatsoever from vantage point. And you can see this con 